I said what I said. I am bored with this. Big mother camera. I'm disengaging. I'm not engaging. Hello everybody true, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills and guys I have some tea. This is about Beverly Hills. This is about the Erica Jane show mixing with New York like girl this is everything. I love when a housewife just says fuck it all and spill all the tea that is out there right and Bethany just destroy Erica at this point and Tom Girardi uh, but before we get into it do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel do it right now if you are new here and you want to join the Beverly Troop subscribe 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 hit the notification bell guys and let's talk about this mess because Miss Bethany oh my god she went on her podcast okay and I just be and then she was like the, the topic of, of the day or they were discussing about, you know, uh, celebrities who has been canceled or demoted and housewife and all this and that, you know. And of course, they had to talk about Erica Jane and this whole Erica Jane situation. Imagine or surprise what the first thing that she says is like, I, ha I, I am not surprised that Erica Jane is going to whatever she's going through because I heard about all of this before and I told everyone about it, okay? So she's basically calling everyone out because this is not to be like, oh, such a surprise, such a surprise. Oh my God, okay. So um, apparently, remember Bethany's ex fiance Dennis, who died and um, Dennis Shield. Apparently, he also used to work with Tom Girardi, you know, and they used to have conversations, Dennis and Bethany, about Tom Girardi. And especially after, you know, the whole comment of like the $40,000 a month glam, you know, Bethany went to Dennis and said like, oh, do you know that she's spending all this money, blah, blah, blah. Listen to this. I'm just going to read it to you because this is insane. It says, Dennis said to me, he doesn't have it like that. He owns me money. He owns me half a million dollars. And I know this other guy, he owns a million and a half dollars. He doesn't have money. He owns everybody money. And uh, Franco said, and I go, um, what are you talking about? How is she flying around on private planes? To watch Dennis, what Dennis reply? It's because he's using people's money to support her lifestyle. He's using the company's money to support her lifestyle. And uh, Bethany replied, "What are you talking about?" And Dennis said, "Yeah, no, he owes me money, and it aggravates everybody." I said, why will he do that? Uh, Dennis replied, he can't say no to her. I mean, uh, Frank, uh, Bethany Frankel said that Tom Girardi financial issues were a wide known best kept secret in the legal industry. We knew this because we have talked about this before, how like, Everyone in the lawyer like industry knew that Tom Girardi was like all, you know, crook, you know, and that she he had so many complaints, you know, with the bar and like uh, all this stuff. Uh, it was a common, th uh, uh, no, uh, um, shit, I forgot the word. It was a knowing, a knowing, no, Latino moment, guys. It was, I mean, everyone knows about it. You know what I mean? Um... And then she recalled a conversation she had with an unnamed billionaire lawyer about the matter. When Dennis told the lawyer, do you know Erica Jane spent $50,000 a month on her hair and her makeup? The guy was like, what? He owns everybody money. He is being sued by everybody. Uh, and Bethany says, so it was a thing. So I knew about it. Okay. 
That's just what happened. Things take a long time to come out, but everybody in the industry knew about it. All these major lawyers that I'm talking about around the country that are in the industry, they all knew about it. And I told Erica's makeup artist, Christopher Bucker, about it. And I told Andy Cohen about it, just to say it's not what you think, okay? Uh, oh, listen to this, because this one is important. Franco, Bethany Franco also said she told Lisa Rayner and Kyle Richards that the Gerardis don't got it like that. And Bethany saying, so when this came out, Andy called me and he goes, holy shit, you really do know it all. You told me about this years ago. She said, I'm like, yeah, I told you, you know, hashtag I know it all. So I knew about this whole thing. I knew since probably 2017 and 2018, I knew about this. Girl, I mean, talk about how there are hundreds of people knowing what Tom Girardi was doing and nobody said or did anything, okay? Second of all, the hypocrisy. Lisa Rena and Carl Richards already knew what was happening. They already knew that Tom Girardi was taking money from clients. And now they come here in front of the cameras and they're like, oh my God, this is new information. I mean, I cannot believe that Erica is doing this. How is this possible? Oh my God, no, they were such an angel. Tom Girardi was such a good person. Really, bitch? Really, when Bethany already told you this since 2017, we're talking 18, 19, 20, four years ago. Four years ago, same like Andy Cohen and like absolutely everyone. And like I said, I mean, not to mention every single powerful lawyer out there. Imagine the amount of corruption that there must be out there. Okay. Uh, and well, yeah, we know about it. You know, we know, we know that, you know, like I said, Tom Girardi had com hundreds of complaints for malpractice. Uh, oh, I said that wrong. For malpractice. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and complaints from other people, you know, this is not the first time. This is the, the plane crash and, and the Rio Gomez and all this is not the first cases that he has done this. He has been doing this for decades, okay? And Erica Jane has been receiving the proceeds of this money for decades. Girl, I'm just surprised that Bethany was like, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. I am not returning to Bravo, so I don't care what I'm going to say anymore, okay? And the fact, the fact that she is throwing Lisa Rena and Kyle Richards under the bus, I mean, I can only imagine. Because what's going to be your excuse right now? I'm not saying, because I know that you're not going to go running to the feds or wherever, you know, to, what, I mean, it, it will be the right thing to do, but I know that that's not something that they're going to do. But for me, the, the hypocrisy is to act like this is brand new information that they never hear about and then go after Sutton for asking questions that they have not been able to ask themselves. You know what I mean? That's the only part that I'm just like, oh, really? Well, what's your excuse now? Okay, because we all know that Bethany is or was, I have no idea, very good friends with Kyle Richards. So they definitely talk to each other all the time. So what's your excuse there? Now your good friend Bethany is telling you stay away from the Gerardis and you decided not to do it. What is Lisa Ren excuse now that she is being all like, oh, I'm defending Erica with my life. She is so amazing. She will never do something like that. But you knew Lisa Rena knew four years ago about it. Why they haven't seen, you know, like why, not even like, they went, I remember they went and when the whole cheating allegations, you know, they were like, well, it's not the first time that I hear about the cheating allegation. Oh, that you remember, but you're not going to say anything about how you heard before that Tom Girardi was 
stealing money from clients and that Erica Jane was using that money to uh, push her career? Girl, bye. Anyways, this is it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this. Are you surprised by Bethany spilling all this tea? Let me know in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.